it's quite an emotional experience uh, looking at uh, the contaminated water that has been underground and also contaminating our groundwater. I'm quite excited about the knowledge that goes with uh, this particular solution. And the most exciting thing is that it's the knowledge that comes from fellow South Africans. This is proudly South African. It has been quite serious because uh, it has even affected uh, other developments. You'll remember what happened with the Hau train when we were supposed to dig the tunnel into Park Station. There were challenges around the water levels and also the seepages that were happening in the West Rand around Kahiso and the problems along here in the Springs area. So this intervention, it's about protecting our, our space, our environment for the future. Acid mine drainage, as the name implies, is acidic. That means that it takes out the metals in the rock and then it, it goes into solution in the water. So what this does is basically, first of all, the lime dosing increases the pH and then all the metals drop out, while with um, reverse osmosis, it's a membrane system where uh, the metals get tr uh, basically transferred into the actual membrane. At the moment, it, because we still have active mines that are really paying a very large amount for pumping and treating the water at this stage, it's, it's manageable. What, what will happen in the future, however, when the mining companies aren't going to be there to pump and treat, that's another story and can become a lot more serious.